Hello everybody, this is Eli, and today I'm going to be making a fume slash smoke extractor. Let's get started. So as you can see, I just drew this little um, sketch, and it just has a 12 volt power supply, a switch, and then a fan. And you can see that's the power supply, it's 12 volts. And then I have a switch, and then a 12 volt DC fan. And when I plug it in, when I turn on the switch, the fan turns on, and it also has a couple little blue LEDs. And then I just measured the fan, and I'm pretty sure that it was three and a quarter inches wide and inches tall. I just measured that on a piece of quarter inch plywood, and then just cut five little pieces. I used the stop block just so I could uh, make a lot of them. And once I had a couple of those, I had to just shorten them because they're a little bit too long. And I actually just used hot glue to connect the wood to the fan because I really couldn't think of any other glue except epoxy, but then that would take longer and it would just be not as efficient as hot glue. So I just put a generous amount of hot glue and just stuck on the wood and it actually worked surprisingly well. And as you can see I have one extra little piece of plywood and that would be for the um, back. But um, the next step was I just took a quarter inch drill bit, Forstner bit, and so that the switch to turn the fan off and on uh, could just go through that hole. And that just reinforced it with some more hot glue. And I actually used this uh, kind of filter stuff, but in the long run I just took it out because it was making too much air resistance. But as I was saying earlier, this is the one extra piece that I cut out. It's just the back plate is the same measurement as the whole entire box. And I just marked five holes and drilled um, them out with a three quarter inch forcer bit. I just made this pattern up, it's just four around one center one, so there's five holes. And if you're gonna make one, you can just skip this next step, which is putting these filters on. You could put a filter on if it was a lot thinner. And the back actually fit really good. Then I just had to do some final sanding to make the whole box smoother and all the uh, corners uh, shorter. And I did have to uh, push the switch back through because I had to sand that uh, side. So I just put it back in. And my idea was just to take some hot glue and make these little feet so that they wouldn't slide on the table. But they didn't work so um, later on I just put these little other feet that ha are like little nails. You'll see in a minute. And I just took a, a quarter inch Forstner bit and I just drilled a half circle so that the wires come, could come out the bottom.
and I just put some hot glue right at the end so it wouldn't get pulled out. And as you can see, as I was saying earlier, these are those little feet that I was talking about. They're kind of a brownish color, but they're actually really cool and they work really good. I had to pre-drill for um, them because the wood was cracking. So I can, as you can see, they just get hit right in. And then just to secure the back on, I drilled four holes in the corners and just used some finished nails to hold it in. And if you do need to do any maintenance inside of the little fume extractor, the, um, the nails that I use, they just come right out and it's really easy to take the back off. They just slide out of the hole and I can just take the back off really easily. So then once everything was uh, good, I just started heating up the pipe for my brand. And now I'm putting my ease. And then to finish it off, I just used some gloss spray lacquer and just put uh, one thin coat of it uh, on the whole thing. Okay, so as you can see it just has a little toggle switch that you can turn off and on and it works very good it looks really cool because it has the blue lights and it actually takes the fumes away very uh, well and you can also w use it for a wood burner As you can see, it sucks in all the fumes very nicely. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Um, this thing actually is very useful for what I do because I do a lot of soldering and wood burning and it actually, it works really great. It was really fun to make. I would definitely recommend this project. I used a 12 volt little uh, computer fan. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I also want to say uh, thanks a lot to my friend Jackson Sims. He helped me make this video possible. Um, so thank you so much for the subscribers. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.